Hi! Hello everyone, this is Aegon of Astora, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Elden Ring. This is episode number 53 being recorded on Saturday, May the 20th, 2023. I hope you're all having a fantastic day whenever it is you find yourself watching this. So, um, <laughs> thanks for the kind rating, friends. So we ended the previous episode here in the, what is officially the subterranean shunning grounds, but unofficially, I suppose, the Cathedral of the Forsaken. Um, and then what was the other site of grace here named? The Forsaken Depths. So before we proceeded in any particular direction, I wanted to make sure that we weren't missing anything here. Um, because, yeah, it just looks like it's the elevator shaft and that's it. I don't know if we ever ended up getting all of the items that were up there. <laughs> Seeing the ghost player ghost riding the elevator sometimes just makes me laugh out loud, as you all know. Okay, so... Let's just make sure that the elevator is just an elevator and that there's no secrets to be had. Um, which means watching one side and then when we come, <laughs> come back down, we'll have to watch the other side. Because yeah, we really do go quite a distance down. Um, I do recall all the jars being here. Oh, sorry, jar friends. We did indeed get that item. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything we can jump off to get here. Looks like it's just an elevator, thank goodness. So the next the next consideration is going to be an NPC roundup. So my list of Sites of Grace have not been keeping this updated, which I think is fine because it, you know, in my mind, it's been more or less fairly obvious where we've we've been needing to go. That's done. That's done. That we still have a seal that we need to break. Bessiel Sanctum. We still have Garank's quest line. Jarberg is still for Jarbaron. Alter South. What was that? Oh, the <laughs> the um the dog puzzle, the third of the three dogs that we still not found. An Urgery Great Gazing Hill. I don't remember why we had that marked off, but anyways, I think that's good. So, the next thing I wanted to look for was where is the Guidance of Grace pointing? It appears to be pointing here, but we couldn't break the seal it was there was a seal being held by Morgat the grace given so my suspicion is that we've missed something in Lyondell so we might need to basically complete Lyondell a second time to make sure we've not missed anything super obvious All these features on the map, I hope we learn a little bit more about at some point. That we're able to figure out what the heck all these things are. So. Well, no one is at Volcano Manor. <laughs> we completely ruined Volcano Manor. Um, so, yeah, I think what we're going to do is an NPC roundup. Because at this point... I'm somewhat at a loss. I still don't know what the Guidance of Grace was leading to here. I suspected previously that it was awarded catacombs, but I think we went there and there was nothing, so... Hmm. We still have to find Millicent somewhere. 
gallery. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to start with an NPC roundup. So as usual, you'll see me just cut it at this point, and then I'm going to cut it to whenever uh, I find something. If I find something, that will be the next thing you see. So I will see you in just a moment. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is not easily consumed. Okay, that's interesting. I know that Rikard was one with a snake, essentially. This, the skin here looks a lot like the skin we found on Godwin. Um, the part of his body I suggested looked, he looked almost like a mermaid. So, yeah. Just an interesting note, I think, or at least I think it's interesting. Oh, okay, we did see a thing once that said tried night, and I was wondering, you know, I'm amazed that we managed to avoid this friend until now. Get wrecked, though. Meat Peddler's Bell Bearing. Yeah, so Muriel's not there. So <laughs> the NPCs sort of disappear in order to protect them, which makes sense. But it sort of, it almost implies that, um, oh, Meat Peddler who was slain. Okay, this person... I saw turtle neck meat and I was like, oh no. By the way, people were giving me trouble for, uh, <laughs> you know, fair enough. Turtles and tortoises are different things, except the game conflates them. So, you know, I was wrong, but so was the game. So anyways, <laughs> um, okay. So hopefully Muriel is okay. Because, you know, it almost implies that Muriel is the bell bearing hunter, just like that other merchant. But I don't think that's what's happening. I think the game is just trying to protect them. So, let's see. Yeah, Muriel's fine. And I was searching for Hyetta. So I checked all of these sites of grace here because I reasoned that, you know, we first saw her here... And then she seems to have followed the shoreline, because then we next saw her here, and then here. So, you know, I figured it was worth sort of checking all of these locations to make sure that we're not missing her. Greetings. Do you need anything? Okay, maybe we'll purchase his sorcery. To make sure there's nothing we're missing. Is there something else? It's because sorceries and he also has this incantation as well. Okay, so let's go rest and then speak with him again. Greetings. Do you need anything? Okay, nothing from Muriel.
So interestingly, because I seem to recall this wandering mausoleum, when we first came here, we didn't have any options for things to duplicate. Um, and that's because this one appears to not be specific to or not, I was going to say rune bears, to shard bearers. I don't know where rune bears came from. This appears to be specific to like bestial bosses. I'm not sure how to describe them. Non shard bearers, I guess, is the best way of putting it. So that's really interesting. Still don't understand from a lore perspective what's happening here. I understand from a gameplay perspective, they'd like for you to be able to use all of the gear associated with a particular remembrance. Um, lift, right, right, lift. <laughs> they'd like for you to be able to use all the gear associated with a particular remembrance. Um, without having to go into New Game Plus, which, you know, I suppose is fair enough. But, yeah, I'm not sure I get it from a lore perspective. Ah, yeah, I'm beginning to worry we're never going to find Hyeta. I think I locked out twice, or three times even. The last three interactions with her, I feel like I locked out. Maybe not the most recent one. The most recent one I figured, okay, yeah, she's following the shoreline. And that worked out, but yeah, now I'm at a loss. <gasps> oh, we found her. Oh, thank goodness. Hi, friend. Oh, hello. Is that you over there? Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before. But I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Ah, <sighs> gosh. <laughs> Puts her hands out and everything. Feels like she's an addict or something. <laughs> like, so, uh, just need another hit of the light. Prom oh yeah, I promise. What was it in? Um, I can't remember which series it was. Um, one of the horror series on Netflix. Netflix, I should say. Um, where one of the characters kept going, "Oh yeah, I just need one more hit, and then I'll get well. I promise." <laughs> All right, here you go, friend. Oh. Oh. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> oh. How sweet. Yet. How it burns. <laughs> Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Yeah, you keep saying that, but, you know, I don't know how that, like, what is that supposed to look like? I'm just supposed to keep feeding you grapes? Like, uh, yeah. Ah, and the search continues. <laughs> okay. So, again, we were more or less on the right track. She seems to be headed towards the Grand Lift, so let's, yeah, keep going.
Yeah, Hyeda is not here. And that could be a problem once again, because yeah, I just don't know where the heck she would be. How would she proceed to the Altus Plateau? It's possible she's not at a site of grace. We last saw her here. Hmm. So, I think when we found her at the Purified Ruins, I think that was the only time we did not find her at a site of grace. Every other time, she was sort of right next to a site of grace. However, you know, I think it's worth just taking a quick jaunt down this road here to eliminate the possibility that she might just be hanging out by the roadside somewhere. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Torrent. My bad, friend. And well done, friends. You're doing great work with your defense of the lift that I was already at. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is the church right here, so... So either she's at the round table hold, or she has somehow ascended on the grand lift by herself. Alright, well, at this point I am somewhat at a loss as to where we ought to go from here. So, as I mentioned earlier, I think it might be wise for us to sort of start from the beginning once again. So let's do that. Let's retrace our steps, or perhaps not retrace our steps, because we took quite a circuitous route around this area the first time, but let us return to the start and sort of redo the area just to make sure that we're not missing anything. Right away, as soon as you leave that little tunnel there, your eyes are drawn to the Erd Tree, obviously. That was intentional as well as the massive rift in the middle. Where the door is. It's interesting though, like... Why is it not gold there as well? Because it's gold and illuminated everywhere else except for in this rift where you have the door. So is that to suggest that humans sort of, or you know, someone inserted themselves into the tree in a way that sort of... Or is that just the outer shell and that what the tree looks like underneath is just this? And then what we're seeing is what the tree should actually look like. Yeah, there are a lot of cosmological questions we obviously don't yet have the answer to. But yeah, I assume there's no way for us to jump down here, right? <laughs> the funny thing about this is that this episode will effectively become <laughs> almost a repeat of the episode in which we first came to this area. So, you know, I don't think I will show everything. Um, let's have a rest to set this as our active site of grace. Yeah, 
you know, obviously I'm not going to have the same reaction to everything as I had the first time, but yeah. Um, I did want to get a new, a new, I didn't get any screenshots of this last time. I was sort of just so taken by it that I would like another thumbnail option. So I'm going to do that now. They're sounding the alarm. I'm gonna mark off some places where we might want to try to make some stuff happen. Okay, there has to be some way for us to get into the upper level of this building here. Oh, please don't tell me I missed a ladder here. Perfumer gloves. In times past, the role of perfumer was much respected, a blessed apothecary in the eyes of many. But after entering the battlefields of the Shattering, they performed no such role, trading their aromatics for poisons, poisons and explosives. Okay, I picked up that whatever was in that chest. Oh my goodness, and I just completely missed this upper level here? Wow, that's incredible, even for me. Seedbed curse. Okay, well... <laughs> um, I guess that's not that huge of a miss. In the sense that, you know, I read that message that said necessary item ahead. I feel like that is used very liberally when what they might mean is something more like important item ahead or something or rare item ahead. Oh, sorry, friend. Whoops. Thank you, iframes. Perfumer shield. Golden shield used by the perfumers of Lyondale during military service. Made to be thin and light of weight, even those lacking strength can employ this immunity boosting shield. We do still need to get a video of the musician friend. Which will, <clears throat> excuse me, will likely require a save quit. Trousers worn by pages who serve the nobility and are mindful to keep them out of harm's way. Traveling wear tailored with exquisite precision to avoid any undue shame for the page's master. Okay. Wow, so <laughs> I really did miss a lot, didn't I? Suppose that's not out of the ordinary for me, but geez Louise. Oh, 
Although, you know, I suppose if it's just an item here and there, it doesn't really address our problem. High page clothes. Clothes of a page selected for special privileges by the noble they serve. Traveling wear tailored with it. Yeah, so same thing. Undue shame. Is something to be avoided. So that perfumer was tending bar, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, um. I think we dealt with this up here. But might as well double check and make sure. Indeed. Um, <laughs> friends, you okay there? <laughs> you said it to your friend in the other episode. Too many buffs you have. You have to just get to it. Okay, another item I missed. That is potentially promising. Those who live in death, friend. really no promise there. It was just an item I missed. <laughs> oh, another item. Smithing stone level 6. That's nice, but... Give me a key or something. <laughs> something with an item description that tells me where to go. Because I'm clearly too dumb to figure it out on my own.
Um, was it really that obvious all along? Was I just supposed to climb on top of the dragon? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Unless this is nothing, but... You know, I said repeatedly in the previous episode. You know, I don't think I'm thinking outside the box enough. Gosh darn it. Wow, and I was right. I just, yeah, wow. That's going to drive some people bonkers, I'm sure. Because, you know, I came right out and said it. I'm not thinking outside the box. I know I'm not, but I just couldn't, couldn't figure it out all the same. Well, here, you know, better late than ever, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so what do we have up here? An inattentive friend? Some more gravel stone. So we were also able to pick up the gravel stone off of the dragon's corpse as well. Is a snowman friend down there? Oh, yes. Thank you, Grace. I still cannot believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I can believe it, but... It's ridiculous all the same. Yeah, this is a whole other area, basically. As in, we're still in Lyondale, but... We've basically just unlocked the second half of the area, I think. Whoa. Okay, that's a Valiant Gargoyle. Which appears to be... I don't think the last one was nearly that tall. So this one is completed with Corpse Wax. Um... Yeah, frightening. Oh no, it was just fully standing at attention, whereas normally... Oh, okay, so they can hurt each other. Uh oh. <laughs> this snowman friend rolling away. I'm sorry, friends. I was going to want to loot the tree anyway, but yeah, golden seed. Gargoyle's Halberd. Bronze Halberd wielded by Valiant Gargoyles. Just like the wielder, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax, a, a patchwork of champions. Friend was making lots of noise, even if there wasn't a message there, probably would have heard them shuffling around. Wow, that is quite the crossbow you have. This 
Smithing stone level six. Okay, we will come back to this. So my assumption is that this, so it leads to that item on that bridge for one. It may also lead to the Colosseum, or is that where the stairs lead? There's the Urge Tree Guardian we saw in the distance a couple of episodes ago. Whoa, okay. So each time we see them, they've sprouted more stuff. Wow, and that healed them too. So they're changing. Or it may not be so much that they're changing, but the depending on what tree they're associated with, they appear to have different characteristics. Okay, I don't know if we can actually make that jump. Oh, we can. Okay, interesting. Maybe make it from a bit lower. Oof. Just cool it with the poison, friends. Come on. <laughs> Suppose I didn't have to go after them. I could have just grabbed the item and went, but all the same. Ah, finally. Okay. And smithing stone level six. So, not terrible, not great. <laughs> My wife is actually out today with Aurelia of Astora. It's not often that the three of us are separated one way or the other. Um, and I will have to take a break at some point from this recording session to go pick them up. And of course, <laughs> it just so happens that we're getting nearer to that time as I finally figure out where the heck we're supposed to be going. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Wow, there are so many Urchery Guardians here, as you might expect. Was this one just like the... Guardian Garb Full Bloom. Okay, so the garb itself is actually classified according to the extent of the bloom. Engraved Golden Garb worn, worn by Guardians of the Minor Erd Trees raises the HP recovery effects of the Flask of Crimson Tears, but greatly lowers fire damage negation. It is said that the blood red flowers blooming on their backs mark the sensence senescence of their ancient pact. Perhaps the Guardians are part tree already. I believe that's something we suggested earlier in the playthrough, so... Interesting to see that com all but confirmed. So they're all just facing the earth tree? Is that what they're doing? Precarious combat, this. I'm sure they're used to it, but... Okay. We have never been this close to the Earth Tree, I don't think. Oh, 
I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Because, yeah, that's the entrance to the Earth Tree right there. Thank you. Um, we activated a stake of Marcus somewhere. Oh, right here. Okay. Interesting. Is this a boss fight? Ooh. Okay. Hello, Godfrey friend. I've heard lots about you. Wow, you really are golden. I assume this is not actually Godfrey. Oh. Weak sauce, if in indeed it is Godfrey. <laughs> okay. Um, so, that's not actually Godfrey. I don't believe that for a second. Oh my goodness, okay. Erdtree Sanctuary. Oh, finger reader corpses everywhere here. Okay, there's a ton of stuff in the area. Wow, the f yeah, just everywhere. A ton of stuff in the area that we're going to need to go back and explore. Because I did not realize... That we were here, like that we were going to the boss, basically. So I suspected my suspicion about Godfrey was that a la Gwyn, he sacrificed himself to halt the spread of death or death root. And, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, it doesn't really confirm any because he didn't even give us any drops. So, yeah, there's no way that was actually Godfrey. Um, it's possible that it was... Godfrey was sort of projecting himself. Okay, so you could enter from either direction. So this was the, the root split at one point, so we could have gone the other way as well, but instead we came in this direction. So that's interesting that you could have gone in either direction. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, friend. Nice try. Okay. Could we not have accessed this previously? Yeah, I guess not. Oh! Massive. I think that's probably the biggest Radagon statue we've seen yet. Yeah, in that uh, crucifixion pose as well. As though he's being swallowed by the Erd Tree. And yeah, just fascinating stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, we're getting farther and farther off track. But yeah, I might as well just keep going and then return to that previous... Where are you going, friend? previous site of grace once we've hit a dead end. Holy grease. Oh, 
Okay, are we finally going to learn? Oh, gosh darn you. Are we finally, finally going to learn how to deal with those invisible footprint friends? Oh, that was dreadful. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I tried to dodge, but it didn't work. Not off to a good start. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm sorry, man. Oh. <laughs> We're walking around with a lot of runes, but <laughs> that's okay, I guess. We have enough of those sacrificial twigs. <laughs> we are never going to figure this out. We'll just keep marking them, and then one day we'll figure it out, and then go deal with all of them at once. Oh, I still can't believe that <laughs> it was the dragon's back. Again, I can believe it, but yeah. Ridiculous, all the same. That's it for this spot. It seems like an awful lot of uh, stuff for just a couple friends. And maybe that's a special ghost because the other ghosts were only... I want to say the footprints were not golden. This one actually has golden footprints, so I don't know if that makes them special other than just being unique. Wow. I thought we were <laughs> I thought we were goners there for sure. Okay, it's one of those duelist friends. Perhaps not a surprise that we see them right in front of what appears to be the Colosseum of this area. thought that was going to be a parryable attack, but no. Ouch. Oh, it's just... <laughs> One more hit. There we go. Sorry, friend. You did well. The 
The door to the archery is so close but so far away at the same time. Oh! Whatever is the matter, please, I implore you, continue. Continue your reflections, your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Okay. Trouble in paradise, it looks like. Was that you? Sorry, I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the master ceased his movements. <laughs> ceased? That suggests he was moving at all. When was he ever moving? The master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. So it's like a crisis of faith, so to speak. Who exactly was Ra the master's finger? Who was Radigan? But what does he mean? We were on the very. What does he mean? He discovered his name. Like, has he been reading in an archive or something? He's just standing there staring at the archery. Oh wait. Did you need something else? Yes. Do you have any new incantations? Um, oh, interesting. One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalist produces a ring of light and fires it forward. Four words. <laughs> the ring of light returns to a position close to the caster before disappearing. This incantation can be cast repeatedly. A gift from the young Michaela to his father, Radigan. Radigan. Oh, gosh, darn it. Halfway between the two pronunciations. Hi, friend. Ooh. Oh, wait, he is. <laughs> He's making his own groaning noise. Okay, not quite as good as my ghost groan, but. Order. <laughs> order, oh, order, so to speak, order, oh. Okay. So all these gestures, this is like his way of communicating with the Ur tree. Did you need some? Um, I want to say that we purchased all of his incantations. I don't remember this one, though. Or rather, I feel like I remember this one, I should say. But we didn't purchase it, so I'll purchase it now. Okay, let's do a save quit and see if they're still here. Indeed. Oh, was that you? Yes, the master is still ceased. And after coming all this way, why now, of all times? Who exactly what the master is? His finger has remained still. All right, thanks, friend. Let's 
Starfist. Spherical iron spherical iron manifer covered in spikes which induce blood loss, used in brutal games of pugilism. I want to say pugilism. Gosh, okay, I should look that up. Pugilism is the profession or hobby of boxing, according to Google. So I assume it's not quite what they mean in the context of this game. I assume it's something like a gladiator as opposed to a boxer. What are all these friends up to? Okay, just chilling, checking out the herb tree, I suppose. It's another duelist friend. This one has two massive anvil weapons. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's a good thing they don't have a lot of poise. Ritual Shield Talisman. A talisman patterned after shields used in ritual combat held to honor the Erd Tree raises defenses when HP is at maximum. The practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radagon, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place can still be found in every land. So these PvP contests. Royal Coliseum or being held to very interesting so ashes being prohibited spirit ashes allowed how do you change the format though I can see it in the top, but you can't. Yeah, anyways, we're not going to do that now anyways, but it's confusing. So hold on, it said that... Okay, it was to honor the Erd Tree. I thought it was to honor Radagon, but... Interesting. I still can't believe we fought Godfrey or, you know, a projection of him. Godfrey's ghost or something. Furl calling finger remedy, my favorite item. Indeed, friend. Um. The save quit really uh, <laughs> did this friend dirty. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, yep. You got some sweet break break dancing moves there, friend. <laughs> oh jeez, Louise.
picked up a relay of Astora and my wife. And we're all home now. A relay of Astora is having a nap. And so here's to hoping she naps for <laughs> a decent amount of time so that we can finish clearing this area. I am just so curious as to what is going on here. Which is to say what we're going to find here. Well, nothing under there. <laughs> Stables here, I suppose. No items, it looks like. Great bow friend over there. Oh, stop it, doggo. All right, what is this? Looks like it could be a boss fight. May not be, however, but let's still see what's going on over here. Whoops. Okay, they've seen us. I knew that arrow was coming. Oh. Got the timing right the first time, but second time, no. Okay, friend, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Coward strats only work for me. Oh, rare drop. Gravel stone seal. All right, a seal. Gosh, I keep... I continually think that those are talisman. Sacred seal made from gravel stone, thought to be an ancient dragon scale, enhances dragon cult incantations of the royal capital. The worship of the ancient dragons does not conflict with the belief with belief in the Erd Tree. After all, this seal and lightning itself are both imbued with gold. Archer friend got tired of missing. Impressive stuff, friend. The fact that you had the wherewithal to stop shooting at a dead dragon when you meant to hit me is actually remarkable, and I'm only being kind of sarcastic when I say that. Okay, there's a rare item up there. Darn it. How are we going to get that? Hmm. <laughs> Don't give up. Okay, thanks. I won't. No, gosh darn it. <laughs> I did it. I may end up giving up. Oh, I thought we had it.
It's an item shiny in one of those tables over there. Ooh, we did it. I did it. <laughs> Smithing stone level six. Stone sword key, okay. Rare item here as well. Gravel stone. I've now officially turned on the air conditioner and it feels glorious. <laughs> it really does get hot in here with my PC and the PS5 running at the same time and the door closed. I'm also right next to the window as well so all those things together makes for a very hot room at times. Okay, we're not going anywhere from here. So, nowhere to go. But in this building. Okay, let me take a sip of my coffee first. That friend looks like they're in quite the battle. <laughs> ah, that's good stuff. Okay. Didn't expect seems so Old? What? Oh my. It's the round table hold. <laughs> what? Okay, again. Not without precedent. Albrecht's pointed hat, robe, bracers, and trousers. So, not without precedent because, you know, we saw this in. Uh, what do we see this in? We saw this in Dark Souls 3, we saw this in Bloodborne, where the the hub world, hub area, is in a Dreamlands-esque realm, um, but it's also in some ways a reflection of a real place that exists in the physical world. So, wow. Yeah, um, I was not expecting that, but I suppose it makes sense. Mad Tong Albrecht's pointed hat, a sign of her of a heretical practitioner, set with red glintstones, said to be formed by the blood of sacrifices, strengthens thorn sorcery. Albrecht was an, an aloof yet disturbed heretical sorcerer, said to have been driven mad by jeering tongues during his service to the Round Table Hold long ago. Um. Yeah, nothing new in the robe, nor the bracers, nor the trousers. Okay, so it's the same as the round table hold, but different. I don't think these statues or in the round table hold. Wow, okay. Mind blown. Smithing stone level five. And we're even gonna get to see rooms we've not seen yet. Ooh. New painting.
fortified manor, first floor. <laughs> Flightless bird. Okay, I want to say that that is somewhere here. Somewhere around there. We'll have to check that out later, though. Because obviously, number one priority at this point is everything here. <laughs> yeah, just mind blown. Oh, okay, I didn't expect that to work. Because, was there an item here or was it just on the stairs? Yeah, okay, so this is the spot where we find, um, not Horror Low, Nefeli Lu, or Nefeli Lo, however you're supposed to actually pronounce her name. This is the area you gain access to with the imp, the imp statues. Black Keybolt. Two Fingers Prayer Book. Can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantations. Lord's Heal and Lord's Aid. This uh, was an item once entrusted to tarnished worthy of lordship. Okay, so I guess we'll have to go give that to Brother Corin. Because, um, I don't know that we have any other, anyone else worthy of, uh, capable of teaching us things at the moment. Sorry, friends. I know you were just making soup over here. And here comes this alien, <laughs> alien hamster butterfly to just ruin your day. Wow. Quite the meal you friends have planned here. It must have been put up to this by the two fingers. You will bring me cabbage. <laughs> or <laughs> I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, man. When you find your own dad jokes funny, you must really be a dad. Okay, so we'll have to access the upper floor to get that item. It was on the stairs there. That's interesting. Why is there a lever there? Okay, the time of day is changing. Oh, of course, there's one of those pizza cutter things here. Okay, gosh darn it, another one too. I'm not a fan of these friends. No, gosh darn it. I deserve that. It's chewing me up and spitting me out. Try range battle. <laughs> I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm sorry, friend, I'd be angry too. That's good stuff. Both the cheese and the coffee. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's do it again. Oh. I was not expecting them to close the gap that quickly.
That's good. <laughs> Cheese and coffee break, you might call it. Get wrecked. Oh, don't enjoy fighting those friends. <laughs> Mostly because they obliterate me. Some of these friends have been seemingly beheaded. And others not. Stormhawk Axe. Battle Axe designed to resemble a hawk with its wings comprising the blade. Signature weapon of warriors who strive to remain one with the storm, despite being so far from their place of birth. Their hearts are proud and thereby easily undone. You... Unique skill, Thunderstorm. Imbue the armament's wing blade with lightning and swing it around to create a temp tempestuous lightning storm. Follow up with an additional input to perform up to two spinning attacks. The lightning will stay on the blade for a while. Wonder if Nefeli Lu might be interested in that weapon. I would assume not. Because she's still just messing with the those ashes we gave her. She has very, seemingly very little interest in doing anything else at this point. Oh, it's the Divine Tower. Elevator. Okay, before we do that, let's um, exhaust some other possibilities here. So I wonder if the once we activate the elevator if that sending gate will be active because when we warped to that divine tower previously or that divine tower bridge the sending gate was in it was not active it was inactive so will that change when we take the elevator up I suppose we shall see All these episodes later. And we're finally back. And indeed, it is now active. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's the tower in the middle of the water that we've been looking at in the distance for quite some time. This is where the the world ends. Sorry, my tongue keeps popping for some reason. This is where the world ends. Or at least where there's a massive waterfall. And above us is crumbling Furum Azula. Very cool. Isolated Divine Tower and apt. Oh, it's tightly blocked shut. Of course it is. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay. Let's head back then to... Bird tree sanctuary, I think. Yes. Oh wait. That's where we fought. Gosh darn it. I'm all turned around now.
Fortified Manor, that's what it was. You know, in fact, I don't think there was anything left here for us to see or do. So maybe, yeah, that was it. Yeah, so maybe let's head to the round table hold. I would like to do a quick comparison. Okay, they do have these statues here. So it's basically the same place, except this one is in a better state of repair. Let's go to the Archery Sanctuary. Okay, there's a fog gate, a uh, boss fog gate. Right before the entrance to the earth tree. Hold on, let's exhaust everything else in here. Before we proceed in that direction. So once again, you can enter this boss room from multiple different directions. This was the entrance we did not take. So you can get up top. There's an item up there, a rare item. Question is how? There are finger readers everywhere here. Finger reader bodies, I should say. Rip friends, I'm sorry. Holy grease. And indeed, great tree. Um, I don't know if we read anything about those bulls previously, but they are all over the capital. The music here is appropriately sorrowful, I think. Ah, so this is how we get up top. Very nice. Okay, maybe we're supposed to get up there from elsewhere. Amazing. I have been having a blast playing this game, and I hope you have been having a blast watching, or at least you've been somewhat enjoying it. <laughs> For a split second, I was like, oh my gosh, the one chest that don't attack, it's going to be a mimic. Urgery bow. We have heard about that. We picked up some arrows that were supposed to be paired with this. 
Longbow featuring Erdtree styling. In times of old when faith and battle went hand in hand, this weapon was created in tandem with the golden arrow. Scales all arrow damage with faith, revealing its true worth when used with holy infused arrows. So, yeah, those are the arrows that we heard about previously. Celestial Dew. Shortcut Ladder, very nice. Even though, you know, it seems kind of pointless when you think about it, but that's okay. Gosh darn it. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, we can just pick it up here. Golden Order Principia. The Principia, that's... That was Newton, right? It refers to the principles of something or other. Hold on, let me look that up. Yeah, Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica. Often referred to simply as the Principia is a book by Isaac Newton that expounds Newton's laws of motion and his universal law of gravitation. It was written in Latin and comprises three volumes and was first published in 1687. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it, Principia or Principia. I think it's Principia, but I could be wrong about that. It can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantations. Radagon's Rings of Light and Law of Regression. So, this is a, uh, sorry, prayer book of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, a dense and complex academic treatise that contains the order's fundamental principles. So, that is going to blow Brother Corrin's mind. Um, so much so that I'm worried about giving it to him, because I'm worried he won't be able to handle it. But yeah, what can you do? I'm all turned around because I got all excited. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's it. Question is, do we want to go give that to him now? Hmm, we should level up first actually. Yep. Okay, I don't remember which way is faster, so we will just let's just go this way. Hope that we can do it without dying. Gosh, they're falling off. Guess what, friends? I come bearing some potentially earth-shattering knowledge. Oh, was that you? Yes, the master is still ceased. And after coming all this way, why now, of all times? Okay, friend. See if you can handle it. <laughs> this is a volume of incantation. It's good to see your enthusiasm. Indeed, I will happily take it off your hands. Radagon's Rings of Light, one of the incantations of the Golden Order of Fundamentalists. A gift of gratitude to the young Mikella from his father, Radagon. Produces a golden ring of light and fires it across a wide area, charging enhances range. And yet, the young Mikella abandoned fundamentalism, for it could do nothing to treat Melania's accursed rot. This was the beginning of unalloyed gold. So of course we gave Melania, or uh, Millicent rather, the unalloyed gold needle to cure her of her rot. Um, 
Okay, so all the different poses reminds me sort of the, what's it called, the Vitru Vitruvian Man? Yeah, something for us to think about um, and for me to look up later. Law of Regression, Incantation of the Golden Order Fundamentalist, one of the key fundamentals. Heals all negative statuses, dispels special effects, and reveals mimicry in all its forms. The fundamentalists describe the Golden Order through the powers of regression and causality. Regression is the pull of meaning that all things yearn eternally to converge. So that last one, uh, all things yearn eternally to converge. So again, hive minds returning to roots, um, returning to earth after your death. All of these things are connected and everyone wants to be connected. We want to become plants, plants want to become us. You know, that's we've sort of seen that time and again in this game already. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. I cannot afford to maintain my innocence any longer. I must dirty my hands to test my faith, even if it offers only the most meager of hints. I will do whatever I can to help my master. He did not say anything like that previously when we gave him heretical works, so interesting. Incantation bestowed by the two fingers upon the tarnished deemed worthy of becoming a lord. Heals a massive amount of HP for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. Tarnished, O oh Tarnished, seek the Ur tree and stand before Marika, its queen. Become the Elden Lord. So remember, this came from a book that was um, gifted to those tarnished deemed worthy of becoming Elden Lord. So it's interesting, though, because... I thought we heard that it was only a recent phenomenon that Tarnished had been, you know, told to become Elden Lords. And so again, perhaps this is repeating that same sort of thing we saw in Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, where you find a place in the world that resembles the hub world that you don't actually get to physically visit. You only ever warp to and from it. And so suggesting that all of this has happened previously and that we are sort of replaying history in a weird way. Uh, Lord's Aid, incantation bestowed by the two fingers upon the tarnished, who, the tarnished deemed worthy of becoming a lord. Alleviates buildup of poison, blood loss, and sleep for the caster and nearby allies. Additionally, cures poison. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. Who exactly was Rad the Master? Okay, well, I just gave you some why we were on the clues, friend. Okay, let's do one more save quit. Oh, was that you? Yes, the master is still ceased. And after coming... Wow, I thought that was going to blow his mind. I guess not. Alright, let's head back then to the Erdtree... What was it called? Erdtree Sanctuary. Alrighty then, which way are we going? I think it's this way? Or is this the alternate? That's the alternate entrance, my apologies. It's just over 24 hours later now. It's now Sunday, May 21st, 2023. And I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So, we've already followed that up. Oh, wow, okay. Well, thank you for the rating, friends. That's actually one of the more impressive shadows I've seen. <laughs> it even has the gap between our back and the shield.
<laughs> okay, that's good. That I don't think we would have seen on the PS4. Oh, wait. That's it? Oh, crud. <laughs> okay. I guess there's still some work to do in terms of finding the path forward. Alrighty then. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's relatively straightforward. I think I got distracted last time by that. Sorry, again, it's been about 24 hours. Oh, I see a sight of grace. Oh, Black Knife Assassin. was a different sound than we're used to hearing. Okay, so someone's doing some landscaping work here. And how you, what you would describe this as interlocking. These are like tiles or tablets. Supposed to look like Gwendolyn's, not Gwendolyn, Guinevere's chamber. Queen's bed chamber. So, yeah, I guess so. Blessing of the Erd Tree. One of the ancient Urdri incantations grants a greater blessing to the caster and nearby allies, gradually restoring a large amount of HP. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Urdri once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. And so I've mentioned this previously, the idea that, you know, we live if we're lucky 80, 90 years, and that's if we're lucky and, you know, privileged. Oh yeah, so these are definitely stone tablets and they have writing on them. So again, that's if we're lucky, but even that, uh, you know, 80, 90, 100 years is a very long lifespan. But in the grand scheme of things, of uh, universal time, cosmic time, 13.7 odd billion years the universe has been around that's just a blip it's not even a blip it's a rounding error essentially so yeah we've made it to the earth tree remarkable okay um i think we need to capture a thumbnail here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling this is going to be very bad. And that we are about to be obliterated by something or someone. Cannot really see. Oh, who's this? Oh, Melina. Why, of course, friend. A 
Okay, so we can see. Yeah, she. Oh. So I assume she she lost her eye. I don't know if we've seen her open her eye at all, but yeah. That looks almost like a tattoo though. She has some very finely sculpted eyebrows. Okay. Well, nice to meet you in person, kind of. I guess you're just a spectral thing like you were before. She moves quite swiftly. Okay, here we go. I would have expected her to be carrying a katana or something instead of a dagger. Graceless, tarnished. Oh, Margit? Yeah, Margit the Fellowman. What fell is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth, last of all kings. Okay. Oh, oh no, that was. So this is not market, or has he just he's just revealed his true self to us, essentially? Early. It's got a slight delay on that one. So it was pretty cool the way he sort of revealed his the shape of his true weapon. Oh no. AoE, I knew it. <laughs> happen obviously second phase but stained by my curse such a thing cannot bear thy part in this shall not be forgiven ouch oh Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so... That appears to be Margit. You know, the weapon is different because previously, seemingly, he wasn't using the actual version of it, like 
He was using a shrouded version of his weapon. He broke all this stone off, and now... Who is this person fighting in here? <laughs> he broke this stone off his weapon, and it became something else. Um, but insofar as it's not Margit, it's the king of the omen. Margo, I think it said. Wow. Um, I'm noticing some additional details here now as well. So there's some scrolls. Scrolls everywhere, everywhere really. Um, in here too bunch of tablets, stone tablets. So, yeah. Um, so, Queen Marika, seemingly, was quite studious. Or perhaps is quite studious. Interesting also that her bedchamber right by the entrance to the Erd Tree. And so I mentioned this in the previous episode, but you can see there are layers at work here, seemingly. Like, it's possible that they carved this door into the Erd Tree, and that as such, um, it looks different than the golden parts on the outside. It's possible also we've, you know, uh, much like in the story of Sky Woman, the Haudenosaunee creation story. Um, there is in the Haudenosaunee creation story a tree that emits light, but it's fading and dying. Um, that is also what is happening here, uh, coincidentally or otherwise. Um, you can see, I believe that's Mount Gelmir there, but up here... Oh no, that's not Mount Gelmir. That's all the land of the giants, as well as this winter place over here. All right. Yes, you could argue that I'm stalling. <laughs> um, I sort of lost focus towards the end of the boss fight because Aurelia of Astora woke up <laughs> early again for the second day in a row. So, is that person trying to see? Oh yeah, you can see Margaret standing there, or Margot. I don't know if you would have been able to see that previously, but you can see through the crack there. There they are. Alrighty. Let's try this again. Okay, so no cutscene this time. You got some fancy moves there, friend. Oh. Lots of delayed attacks. Oh no. Bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would not have expected Melina to be using a dagger. Uh, I think I mentioned that before the last boss fight. I would have expected her to be using a katana or something. Whoa. All right. AoE. Oh. So this is the curse, seemingly. So thy part in this. 
you know, we were just sort of <laughs> peacefully dead. So I don't know why you're blaming us, unless you, he's blaming us as an extension of grace, because it was grace that rose, or presumably the greater will by extension. Oh gosh darn it, need to heal. Oh, is she trying to heal us? Oh, I think she, I think that's a healing spell, which is quite cool. Oh gosh darn it. Okay, let's not die right at the end again. And let's try to keep Melon alive, please. No! <laughs> Melon died right at the end. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Melina. Gosh darn it. I really hope... Oh. It doesn't have an effect. Oh my gosh, she was trying to heal us too. Oh, I'm sorry. Morgus Great Rune, Remembrance of the Omen King. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. Oh my goodness, okay, hold on. The great rune of the Shardbearer, Morgat, devoid of any benediction. Seek the divine tower of East Altis, which stands beyond the great bridge from Lyondell's eastern eastern ward. Okay, so Morgat the Grace Given. Okay, so I'm just remembering that name now. Gosh, I don't even remember what else we got. Remembrance of Morgat, the Omen King, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Though born one of the graceless omen, Morgat took it upon himself to become the Erd Tree's protector. He loved not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless, love it he did. The Erd Tree wards off all who deign approach. We are... We are all forsaken. <laughs> so we've heard this word forsaken many times in the last couple of episodes. Wow, okay, there's still a fog gate. That's interesting. Um... Suggesting almost that this boss fight is not finished. Uh, hold on one second. Let's look up Forsaken. Abandoned or deserted. So, yeah. Um, abandonment by the great, greater will is essentially, yeah, we were, we were forsaken by the greater will. A greater will, I can speak. Um, it's raining also. I don't know if... My question when it rains is often, is it a scripted event or is it just raining because it was meant to be raining at this time of day? Anyways. None may claim the title of Elder and Lord. Thy deeds shall be met with failure, just as I. <sighs> Rip friend, you know, for the record, I guess you're dead, so you <laughs> it's, uh, I'm kind of speaking to the wind here. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I never aspired to be Elden Lord, it's just Grace woke me up one day I was dead, you know, I was happy to just die, the most beautiful hamster butterfly alien that ever lived. Um, but you know, so I was just sort of thrust into this, you're making it seem like I had some grand plan that, you know. I, you know, enacted. Okay, there's a rune hewn into the branches there. So wait. I 
I don't think that was there previously. Did the door like blow open? Or did we just not see that far down? I'm wondering, can we just leave? No, you can't leave, so it forces you to go forward. All right, here we go. Wow. Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the Erd tree. So when we walk back, Melon is going to be there or something? Oh, now there's a sight of grace. Okay, so they <laughs> we had to touch the thorns first. You still dead? Yeah, you're still dead. Sorry, friend. <laughs> Rip. You were quite formidable. I'll give you that. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable, a husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the Flame of Ruin. Far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants, then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Rolled Medallion. So that's for the Halig or the Rolled Lift. The Grand Lift of Rolled, I think. I wish to journey with you once more to the Flame of Ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Okay, so she wants to light the Erd Tree on fire. I wish to do the Okay, okay. We got it. We got it, friend. Thank you. <laughs> Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Oh, sorry, friend. <laughs> Don't have enough runes. <laughs> okay, thank you, and thank you for your assistance with the boss fight. I really appreciate it. Take care. She said she wants to journey with us. Like, it, does she, is she just following us in ghost form or something? Okay, the fog gate is gone. All right. Um. Hmm. Let's go to the round table hold. Managed to return. You know what this means. The earth tree has spurned you. The fingers remain still, shaken by this turn of events. They are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands. 
If not tens of thousands of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage the world? <laughs> my, oh my. You'd be surprised. I've been playing this game for about a year at this point, so I managed. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose the greater will and the two fingers can't agree on what food they'd like next. So maybe that's why we didn't receive a food order when, uh, yeah, coming into contact with their greater will radio waves or whatever. <laughs> Heavens forbid, that is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the earth tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the rune of death too? <laughs> Whoops. The rune of death goes by two names. The other is destined death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden order upon its creation. Uh, unleashing the rune now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. Mm. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who ken, I believe, meaning perception. Sin must be cardinal forever. Go on. Finish the job. <laughs> Take the course you deem most worthy. So in other words, the fingers and the finger reader are flexible. Um, <laughs> there we go. Oh, just trying to make eye contact with everyone, but regrets making it difficult, or at least the sword is making it difficult. There. <laughs> um, yeah, they're flexible. Um, so interesting. Okay. Um, and yeah, it, I complained about this earlier that she's not acknowledging our rune of death and like the fact that we're doing all this other stuff, but there it is. So interesting. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed. Of one who envisions the flame and can lead you to the rune of death. Okay then, thanks friend. Um Let's see if we have anything new here. Okay, we have Fell Omen Cloak. A cloak of ragged fur a cloak of ragged fur worn about the exposed body of Margaret, the Fell Omen. Having slaughtered countless champions during the Shattering, the Fell Omen has become a horror to those who harbor ambitions for the Erdtree or for Lordship. Morgat's Cursed Sword, Warped Blade of Shifting Hue used by Morgat the Omen King. The accused blood that Morgat recanted and sealed away reformed into, or sorry, the accursed blood that Morgat recanted and sealed away reformed into this blade. Unique skill, Cursed Blood Slice, Brace, then charge forward to deliver a diagonal or downward diagonal slice. The bloody trail of the blade is followed by a burst of flame. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Regal Omen Bairn, doll of a curse-born bairn from the Erd Tree's royal line. Uses FP to unleash many wraiths that chase down foes. Omen babies born of royalty do not have their horns excised, but instead are kept underground, unbeknownst to anyone, imprisoned for eternity. These memorial fetishes are fashioned in secret. So yeah, you can see... It says doll, but is that supposed to be an actual baby? Looking at the image, it's quite frightening. Doll of a curse-born baron from the Erdtree's royal line. Omen babies born of royalty 
do not have their horns excised, but instead are kept. Okay. So by underground is that I assume that's a reference to the subterranean shunning grounds. Very interesting stuff. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Alrighty then. Let's go see what, if anything, Mr. Cheery fellow has to say. Uh, you. What is it? If you're heading to the Forge of the Flame of Ruin, in the snowy mountaintops of the Giants, you'll need to find the Grand Lift of Rold, beyond the Forbidden Region. But go if you would. Take no heed of Cardinal Sin. <laughs> the two fingers lost their purpose a long, long time ago. So he clearly heard our conversation, or he's heard before from people about, you know, the idea of that being a cardinal sin. Okay. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Mikola of the Haley. He says that, but we've found Ronnie, and we've also found apparently the Lord of Blood, so yeah, who knows. Let's see. Um, we also have to read this. Uh, conjoined split medallion depicting the flame peak. Brandishing the medallion activates the grand lift of Rold, connecting Lyondell to the mountaintops of the giants. The forge of the flame of ruin is said to be found upon their peaks, and it is here Melina wishes to travel in resuming your journey together. I'm so confused about the about the actual mechanics of our journey together. How is that supposed to work? I'm also not clear on whether we've finished. I don't suspect that we have whether we've finished what's his face's quest line. Um, by what's his face, I mean um, Dung Eater. Okay, that's new. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Or at least I thought it was. <laughs> Never seen her reach up like that. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, then. All right, well, it looks like that's it. In this eye. Oh, yes. <laughs> gosh darn it. All right, well, thank you all very, very much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.